Hello, hello, and welcome back to our reading Luke throughout the month of December series, 24 chapters for 24 days till Christmas. Uh, we've done three days already. This is the fourth video, so let's continue. Uh, it's chapter four of Luke four. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. And Jesus, being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being 40 days tempted by, by the devil. And in those days he did eat nothing, and when, he were, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If you be the Son of God, command that this stone be made bread. And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written, Thou shalt not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. And the devil, taking him up into a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give unto you, and the glory of them, for that was delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. If you will worship me, and all shall be thine. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. And he brought unto him Jerusalem, and set up him up on the pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If you be the Son of God, cast yourself down from here, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee, and in, your, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest at any time they should dash your foot against a stone. And Jesus answering said unto them, It is said, If thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. And when the devil had ended all temptation, he departed from him for a season. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit unto Galilee. And there went out a fame of him throughout all the region round about. And he taught in their synagogues, being glorified of all. And he came to Nazareth, which had been brought up, and as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day, and stood up on for to read. And there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. And when he had opened the book, he found where the place where it was written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to preach the gospel of the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, and to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovering of the sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. And he closed the book, and he gave it again unto the minister, and sat down. And the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were fasted upon him. And he began to say unto them, This day is this the scripture fulfilled in your ears. And all bear him witness and wondered at the gracious words which he had out of his mouth. And they said, Is this not Joseph's son? And he said unto them, You will surely say unto me this proverb, Physician, heal yourself. Whatsoever you have done in your Capernaum, do also here in your country. Verily I say unto you, No prophet is accepted in his own country. But I tell you of a truth, many wod widows were in Israel in the days of Elijah, when the heaven was shut up three years and six months, with great famine throughout all the land. But none was Elijah sent, sent unto Sarepta's city of Sidon, unto a woman that was a widow, and many lepers in Israel in the time of, of Elisha the prophet, and none were cleansed, saving Naaman the Syrian. And they were all in the synagogue, when they heard these things, were filled with wrath. And they rose up and thrust them out of the city, and led them unto the brow of the hill, where their city was built, that they might cast them down headlong. But he, passing through the midst of them, went his way. And came down to Capernaum, a city of Galilee, and taught them on the Sabbath days. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for his word was with power. And in the synagogue there was a man which had the spirit of an unclean devil, and cried out with a loud voice, saying, Let us alone, what have we to do with ye, you Jesus of Nazareth? Are you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked them, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of them. I'll mark some real quick. Can read this? And when the devil had thrown him out in the mist, he came out of him and heard him not. And they were all amazed and spake unto themselves, saying, What a word is this? For with authority and power he commanded the unclean spirits, and they all came out. And the fame of him went about through all, every place of the country round about. And he rose in the synagogue, and he entered Simon's house. And Simon's wife's mother was taken with a great fever, and they besought him for her. And he stood over her and rebuked the fever, and it left her. And immediately she arose and ministered unto them. Now when the sun was setting, all that they had any sick with diverse diseases brought them unto him. And he laid his hands on every one of them, and they healed him. And devils also came out of many, crying out and saying, You are Christ, the Son of God. And he rebuked them, suffered them not to speak, for they knew that he was Christ, Messiah. And, it came to, and when it was the daytime, he departed and went into a desert place. And the people sought him, and came unto him, and stayed him, that he should not depart from them. And he said unto them, I must preach the kingdom of God to other cities also, for therefore am I sent. And he preached in the synagogues of Galilee. Whew. So, 
Let me sum up what I just read, and maybe I'll do that every single chapter now. He was in the wilderness, tempted 40 days, 40 nights, passed those tests. It, was, it wasn't just limited to the three that are written, but several others. Came to Nazareth, which was his hometown, preached in the synagogue from Isaiah 61. And they rejected them, almost threw them over the hill. And went to another place, started freeing people from demonic possessions and everything. And people keep wanting to seek him, but he says, I am meant to preach the gospel wherever I'm going. So, how's chapter 4? Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for chapter 5.